Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the S23 Ultra, and this time I'll be showing you how you can customize the navigation bar down here. Okay, so just go to the Galaxy Store, select Apps, then up here in the top right hand corner, hit the search bar, and type in Good Luck. Okay, so this is a module from Samsung. So go ahead and download it. Once it's installed, open it up. And then scroll down to where it says Navstar. So with Navstar, you can conveniently organize the navigation bar and gesture mode. So go ahead and download it and then Okay, let me just um try download it again. Okay, so just install it okay so once it's installed just open up good luck again scroll to the top and you will see navstar hit start select allow and now we're inside navstar just go ahead and turn it on to start using it okay so here you will see some default navigation bar options, configurations. So if you want to change the navigation bar layout to any one of these, you would just select it and as you can see, it's now changed. And if you don't like any of the default configurations, you can select new configuration. And then here you can change the buttons to any of these that you would like to use. So for example, if I want the recent apps button to change to maybe let's say A book, I would choose the book. If I want the home button to change to, let's say, maybe this little house, which is a home, I would choose that option. And the back button, if I want it to change to this, I would choose that option. And then close keyboard. I could choose this little keyboard and then just hit save once I'm finished. And then scroll through the list of the default configurations and you'll see your new layout here. So select it and as you can see, it's now being added to the navigation bar. There's also an option here to show and show and hide button. So add a button to the left side of the navigation bar to show or hide the navigation bar. So as you can see now, there's a little button there. And if you double tap on it, you can hide the navigation bar. There's also an option to show on home screen. So show the navigation bar always on one UI home screen. Okay, so we're just going to go back into the new configuration settings. And then we have transparency. So there's a slider here that you can adjust the transparency, as you can see there. So you can scale it all the way down to 10% or turn it all the way up to 100% and then hit save when you're done. And there's also adaptive icon colors. So adjust icon color automatically.
there's also button layout so you can switch it from the default to right aligned left aligned and you can even add a button okay so let's just say you want to add the camera button and the internet button you could do that then just hit done and then go back select hold on save don't forget to save guys okay so then go back and look through the default configuration list and you'll see your new configuration here select it and then down here you will now see your new navigation bar layout okay so let's go back into new configuration so we've looked at button layout here you have background color so you can change the background color and once again once you've choose your background color just hit save okay next if you swipe over here to the right you will see the swipe gestures option and here you can make some customizations if you like to use the swipe gestures instead of the buttons. So just turn that on. And it will say to use swipe nav, well, swipe nav star gestures settings, you need to change the navigation bar to a gesture type. So go ahead and hit OK. And then you will have to switch from the buttons option to swipe gestures and then just go back and it will bring you back into the navstar options and settings so once again just turn it on and then from here you can make your changes to the swipe gestures so there's transparent hint, make the navigation bar hint area transparent to make the content visible. Allow back gesture in full screen. Allow side back gestures in full screen mode, such as games, videos, etc. So if that's something you like, you can turn it on or you can just keep it off. Then there's back gesture sensitivity. So you can adjust the left back gesture and you'll notice the bar there showing just how far you want to adjust it. And then there's the same with the right back gesture option here. And it does explain if you change the back gesture sensitivity settings in the navigation bar settings, the value setting nav style will not be applied. Also, you can have a little play around with the gesture handle. So you can adjust the gesture handle width and also the transparency. And you can also change the color So at the moment it's grey, you could change it to red, yellow, any other colour you want and then just hit done. If you make any mistakes, there's also an option to reset. So you can just hit reset and start again. But yeah guys, this was just my video showing you how to customize the navigation bar on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Um, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, share the video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next one, guys.
Deuces.